I'll just wait for the sun to stop shining. So I'm not even joking when I tell you we've seen one animal and we just stopped off for a drink which I'll put footage of now. Um, I didn't want to talk over it because everyone was having a conversation so I didn't want to stop the conversation. But um, here's me looking a bit tired and a mess but um, yeah we're going to go continue to see the animals so let's go. I think this is decapitation. No, don't eat me, no. don't eat me out! So we're in the bear enclosure now and we were just reading about a bear called Jojo who basically was found in a karaoke bar um, and he was held there to entertain and then we're also reading about how bears are held captive and people use their bile um, and they sell it basically in pills, flakes, liquid, things like that so it's really horrible to hear about all the things that happen to bears but we can't see any at the moment because their enclosure seems pretty empty maybe they're inside who knows i'd be inside here's another little worrying fact for you there's less than 40 of this breed of leopard left in the wild here's us thinking wow we're getting such a good view of this leopard he must really like people uh, it turns out he was just having a poo Lucy, the sweet shop's closed. Uh. Uh. And here we have the Mia Cat enclosure. And there were Mia Cats, but as soon as I got my phone out, they literally, all of them, scurried away. Camera shy. Yeah, probably. So, this is where they would hang out. Oh, yes! He's back! Oh, how adorable is he? I love him. Um, Look how adorable. Oh, so cute. Yeah, so what she's got, uh, the only defence really, two. She's got she can bring this up over the top to make herself look like a scorpion, or she can actually drop her legs if they get caught or pulled. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
So right now I'm with Dad. Hello. And it's really windy. Um, whoops. And we're back at the car now. Phew. To get the lunch stuff because we're all a bit hungry and the time is... Oh, I thought I could drag it down. Nobody can drag me down. Eventually. goats problem is they all think I've got food so they're all looking at me like I'm gonna feed them something it's really cool though how sweet sorry I'm not doing very good at filming because I'm trying not to get attacked oh they're so sweet though oh I was not ready for that sweetheart oh how lovely is he Sweet. I could just take you home. Yeah. It's so sweet. You could save money grass, wouldn't it? That's true. Bye bye. But it goes across the nation that I'll eat this up. Babe, I know that it's you so good. You better lead up. Get down with the heart of it. No, it's my heart. You're shit out of your life. Don't make me tell you again. One thing I do really love about Colchester Zoo is the fact that there's quite a lot of places you can like roam among the animals like in Bannham which is on the other sea you can kind of only just see the lemurs there's like a bit where you can walk around the lemurs whereas here we're in with the wallabies and you're allowed to so woo like that was a long skull yeah what are you supposed to do kill Mufasa precisely oh sorry bear with me a sec you probably want real hyenas don't you What is that supposed to mean anyway? It means you're a baboon. And I'm not. I'm so sorry, I don't know why we keep getting Lion King references. Bear with me. Bravo. An extraordinary performance. And thank you for detaining my victim. All right, I can kind of understand the Lion King theme, but Shere Khan, come on, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. No one trying to get back. Before the gold one run out, I'll be giving it my bestest And nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention I Bet you can't guess who was singing in that clip It was me So it's been quite busy, I've held back on vlogging a little bit But it's dark now, we're finished up at the zoo Just seeing the Christmas tree Colour changing lights Yeah, very pretty Yeah, it's colour changing so now we're gonna go look at the gift shop because I it's might really get a buff them. I don't know, they're quite cheap here actually, which is surprising for a zoo gift shop. But we shall see what we see. So we just got out of the gift shop. Disclaimer, I know it looks dark, but I promise you we were in the gift shop for like 10 minutes. So please don't judge us. It was just that time of day where it gets dark really quick. We were not in the gift shop that long. Where I got one bar of fudge for dad and one bar of fudge for grand and grand to share. I didn't get a bar form because I thought I could get them cheaper somewhere else. So it's absolutely freezing cold and ridiculously windy. No, but the reason it's cold is because it's windy. So now we're going to head to an all you can eat Chinese buffet. Oh yes, the train. So I've turned the light on in the car, which didn't make a lot of difference. You can barely see me. Ah, oh, here we go. It's better because of that light. Yeah. So we're back in the car. I've got my scarf as a blanket and my hand warmers because it's absolutely freezing. Like I just said, 
I took my coat off, put it in the boot, and then dashed around. My scarf was blowing everywhere. It was an experience. So we're heading to the Chinese, as I said, but I've just realized it's Sunday. I have French homework that's due tomorrow. Yay. So we're gonna have to do that on the way home in the car. Fun times. I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'm gonna enjoy my day and I'll deal with that when I have to deal with that. So yeah, see you at the Chinese. So the starters have been ordered. What'd you get? Uh, crispy, aromatic, dark, and something else I forgot. Um, oh, satay chicken. I was gonna say. Um, I also ordered crispy, aromatic, duck, but I only got one starter because I'd rather have two mains than one starter. So it's like a buffet, but um, it's not a buffet, so you don't go up, but you just pay it's, one it's price. It's all you can eat, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's all you can eat, but you still get served. But you have to be careful because they've put out the buffet buster, so they're trying to get us That's to eat lots of prawn crackers. If you eat prawn crackers, you're to not fill us up. So, yeah, so we're not going to fall flat. I've are we? caved. I've eaten two. Yeah, but we're not going to fall flat, are we? No. This is my tutorial on how to do a correct aromatic duck pancake. First, we have the most important part, which is the duck. I thought you were saying the wine. That's also important. So we get some duck, then we get a bit of cucumber. Just for a second. I usually put three bits on. And then a tiny bit of spring onion. And finally, a little bit of plum sauce on the back of the spoon. And then you do a really thin layer, unlike my mum who just goes plop. And then you wrap it like so. And put the plum sauce end on the outside so that it sticks. And then you eat it. And you do it with dignity. It's so embarrassing. Hello again. Sorry, it's a bit dark. But we've just said goodbye to our family and we are now on our way home. I'm going to probably do some French homework. Just checking what the ETA is, but... 8.15. 8.15, okay. It's not the end of the world if I have to do it at home. Um, so yep, that is the end of this vlog. It was a really nice day. Hope you enjoyed the vlog as much as we enjoyed making it. Well, I enjoyed making it. I didn't get dessert, but if I got dessert, here's a photo of what I would have got. I don't regret it, but yeah, that's like the only smart decision I made. Okay, see you next time. Bye.